What's up you guys, it's Steve here and it passed. This is your stimulus check update and your stimulus package update. That's right. As you guys know, yesterday I reported to you the breaking news that that bipartisan group of lawmakers working on that first portion of the infrastructure bill to pass $1.2 trillion in infrastructure spending, they came out and they said it was pretty much a done deal, that they were just finalizing the last bits of legislative text, but the official bill would be ready for voting likely late last night. And guess what? They voted and it passed and it passed with flying colors. Take a look at this article that came out today. Senate votes to open debate on $1.2 trillion infrastructure bill. And you can see there, yays 67, nays 32, which means 17 Republicans got on board and supported this bill to pass it through. So you guys, I'm gonna be diving into the details of these articles that are coming out. Here's another one that just came out yesterday and was updated this morning. Senate votes to advance bipartisan infrastructure bill as Democrats forge ahead with ambitious economic agenda. And that ambitious agenda is the second portion which they will now be focusing on for $3.5 trillion of human infrastructure, the largest stimulus package that we have seen so far. And we've heard from the House that as long as they get both of them, they will pass it through. But Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi said if they only pass the first portion, it's just gonna sit there until they get the second. So now we're gonna see them turn their attention to that human infrastructure bill and we're gonna see what comes out. But you guys, I'm gonna dive into these articles, let you know what unfolded yesterday and the path forward that we will likely see for infrastructure and more stimulus as of today, July 29th, 2021. But before we dive in and I get you caught up on everything unfolding, if you could do me a quick favor, just takes a second, don't forget to smash that like button. I would appreciate it, just takes a second, really helps out the channel a ton, thank you so much. Also, leave your comments down below, I love hearing your thoughts, and share this out if you think it's gonna help out other people as well. In addition to that, if this is your first time here, don't forget, hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, I'll keep you up to date on everything going on and you can come join the viewing community, join the Ram fam to stay up to date on stimulus, Congress, the economy, unemployment, anything having to do with money. That's what I like to talk about here. And if you got any specific questions that you want me to answer, be sure to shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at steveram3. That's the best way to get a hold of me. But with that being said, you guys, let's dive into these articles and I'm going to let you know the latest that's unfolded with the infrastructure bills and more stimulus. All right, you guys, so first up, we're gonna be shouting out the 17 Republicans that got on board to help support this bill and pass it through 1.2 trillion in infrastructure spending for roads, bridges, and highways. And those are gonna be Roy Blunt, Richard Burr, Shelley Moore Capito, Bill Cassidy, Susan Collins, Kevin Kramer, Mike Capito, Lindsey Graham, Chuck Grassley, John Hoeven, Mitch McConnell, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell got on board, Lisa Murkowski, Rob Portman, Jim Rich, Mitt Romney, Tom Tillis, and Todd Young. Those are the 17 that passed this through. And now the Senate and Democrats are gonna be turning their attention to the second portion of the infrastructure bill, which is gonna be human infrastructure, 3.5 trillion in more stimulus funding. Now, link in the description below to this article that came out yesterday was just updated an hour ago, so you can follow along with me and see that I'm not just making random stuff up. Now the article says, Senate votes to advance bipartisan infrastructure bill as Democrats forge ahead with ambitious economic agenda. Now the article says, the Senate, they voted Wednesday to advance a bipartisan infrastructure plan, and that was late last night, a critical step toward Democrats passing their sweeping economic agenda. Senators voted 67-32 to push the bill forward with 17 Republicans and all 50 Democrats voting yes. Now the votes, the vote opened the process to debate and amend the proposal, which would put $550 billion into transportation, broadband, and utilities. Now, while senators who backed the procedural motion could oppose the final package, Wednesday's vote bodes well for its chances of passage. Now, despite the popularity of it and the need for it, Washington hasn't been able to get it done, said GOP Senator Rob Portman of Ohio, the lead GOP negotiator of the deal after the infrastructure vote. This time, we're going to get it done. The deal came together earlier in the day after Democrats and Republican negotiators, they resolved disputes over transit and broadband funding, among other issues. And that's what we heard yesterday morning when they came out and said, it's pretty much a done deal. The plan was trimmed from a $579 billion in new spending as senators and the White House agreed to last month, a sum many Democrats considered 
poultry. Now, if you're wondering what all is included in this bill, well, the article says senators have not released the final legislation. So we don't have all the details on this yet, but as soon as we do, know that I will be sure to share with you guys here on the channel so that way you can see everything that was agreed upon. Now the article says, supporters of the bill have hailed it as a needed investment that will boost the economy as the U.S. tries to emerge from the pandemic. Democrats still face a range of pitfalls as they try to get the bipartisan bill and their separate $3.5 trillion spending package to President Joe Biden's desk in the coming months. And we heard Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer say they wanted to get this done before their August recess, so in the coming week. And he said they want to nail out all the details over that recess so that way when they come back in September, they can pass it into law and we can have this money released. Now reading on it says Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, he will have to keep all 50 members of his caucus and at least 10 Republicans on board to ensure that this first portion of the infrastructure plan passes. Now House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, will need to win progressive support for the smaller than desired bill in a narrowly divided chamber. Now, a second separate $3.5 trillion plan, as we mentioned, to invest in childcare, paid leave, education, and measures to curb climate change could pose more problems. Every Democrat in the Senate will need to support the package to pass it without Republican votes. So, through the process of reconciliation, majority votes can pass it through. So they don't need 60 in the Senate, they just need 50 and that tiebreaker vote from Vice President Kamala Harris. So that means right now the Senate is split 50-50. They need every single Democrat. They cannot lose one single vote. Now, some Democrats, such as Kirsten Sinema of Arizona, have signaled that they want a smaller final budget reconciliation bill. Sinema was the lead Democrat negotiator on the bipartisan bill. So she's saying she's not sure that she wants to pass 3.5 trillion, which keep in mind would be the largest we have ever seen so far. She's saying she might want to bring that down. So uh, in order to get her vote, we will see if they have to negotiate it down or maybe do something to get her on board so they can pass that through. Now we will see because in the Democratic Party, we have extreme polar opposites. We have moderate Democrats and progressive Democrats and we have moderates like Kirsten Sinema, who's saying she wants less than 3.5 trillion, saying that that is too much. But then we also have members like Senator Bernie Sanders, who's saying he wants as much as six trillion dollars, almost double what is currently being proposed. So extreme polar opposites. So if they start bringing the price tag down, we might lose progressives that want something more. But if they bring it up, we might lose Kirsten Sinema. And like I said, they cannot afford to lose one single vote. So they're gonna have to figure out a way to appease everybody, which the article says. Take a look here. Attempts to appease centrists could alienate liberals who worry that the bipartisan infrastructure bill fails to do enough to address climate change or strengthen the social safety net. Now, Schumer aims to pass both the bipartisan bill, the one that just passed in the Senate, and the budget resolution that sets up reconciliation process before the Senate leaves for its recess next month. And we've heard him say that. He wants to get this done right now so that way everything can be finalized and they can pass it when they come back in September. Now the Senate, they will rush to pass both measures on Schumer's timeline in an institution not known for speed. And so they're saying sometimes it takes them a little while to get things done. Now Pelosi has insisted that she will not bring the infrastructure bill or the budget measure to the House floor until the Senate passes both of them. So right now the path forward is we're going to still be looking to the Senate and they're gonna be turning their attention to the 3.5 trillion in human infrastructure. Now, after the vote Wednesday, Schumer stressed that the Senate is on track to meet his deadline. He's saying they're gonna get this done and that the chamber's recess starts August 9th, but he has said that the Senate could stay in session longer in order to pass the measure. And he said, my goal remains to pass both the bipartisan infrastructure bill and the budget resolution during this work period, both. It might take some long nights, it might eat into our weekends, but we are going to get the job done and we are on track. So you guys, they're saying they're going to do whatever they need to do 
but they are gonna get this done. So you guys, that is the latest as we saw Congress in the Senate pass through the first portion of the infrastructure bill and they'll now turn their attention to that second portion. Be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And as always, you guys, thank you so much for joining me here on the channel. I'll be sure to keep you up to date as more info rolls out. And if you made it this far and you haven't already, don't forget, smash that like button. Just takes a second, really helps me out a ton. Thank you so much. This is your first time here. Hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, join the Ram fam, and I'll keep you up to date on everything. And if you got any specific questions for me, be sure to shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at steveram3. But with that being said, you guys, Thank you so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Remember, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Monday through Friday, guaranteed uploads and also random uploads throughout the day as news breaks. But again, thank you so much for joining me. Hope this reaches you well. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.